night. Hello again and welcome to my channel. I'm joining you with a hot cup of steaming chai and I hope you're also watching this from a comfortable state of mind and so let's get started. When I was growing up, I was surrounded by this message that you shouldn't share your goals with anyone until you accomplish them because you don't want to jinx it and you don't want to get buri nazar. Now, if you're from the Indian subcontinent or an Arabic actually, um, you probably relate to this concept of the evil eye. I came across the other messaging, which is state your intention, raise your hand and ask for what you want. Have other people hold you accountable for your goal and things like that. You know, which one do you believe? Which one do you go with? It all seems sort of conflicting. And so in this video, I want to talk to you about one of the many dichotomies we're surrounded by. And let's explore it together, especially from the view of what science has to say. Now, when I started to work at JP Morgan, this was my first job. I was about three years into my professional career and I started to get fascinated by the world of finance and business because I hadn't studied that before. Uh, I came from an arts academic background. At that time, I enrolled in the University of London's distance learning program of the Masters in Economics, and I was really pumped up. I thought this was great, and I was, um, I was super inspired to do this. I ordered all the books, I paid a lot of money. The first month of me joining, I put this up on my LinkedIn profile, which you might say, hmm, shouldn't matter. I started to tell all my friends about it. And every time I told somebody, oh, I'm studying this University of London Masters in Economics, oh, wow. That sounds really hard. And every time I heard that, I would say, yeah, yeah, it is hard to do this with a you know, full-time job. I never really finished that program. I failed at the first exam I took. I took it off my LinkedIn profile subsequently, of course. Um, and, and that was just one of the things that I failed at in my life, which not too many people know about now, um, unless I actively tell them on a YouTube channel. Over the years, I've been wondering about what really happened there. And I had some hypotheses. I was almost tempted to think, oh, see, my mother was right. I shouldn't tell anyone about my goal. But that didn't seem to line up with all the other things I was hearing, right? At business school, at work, around state your intent, have other people hold you accountable because that then keeps you motivated for a difficult task, etc. So something was fishy here. I came across what science has to say about it. And I'm so excited to be sharing this with you. Now, because I'm a consultant, I'm going to make a two by two matrix to explain my point. On one axis, you have your stated intent. On the other, you have whether it's noticed by people around you or not. And this is an important dimension. Um, and I'll, I'll explain what that means. There's two types of intent you could be stating. One is related to your goal and one is related to your process. And let's call that implementation intent versus goal intent. What I am doing, what I'm going to do a master's in economics is different from saying every day for two hours, I study from 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. Saying that I'm running a marathon in October is different from saying I'm training thrice a week and I go running from this time to this time on Monday, Wednesdays and Fridays. And though that's the difference between the goal intent and the implementation intent. Both of these are intentions. None of this is real just yet. On the y-axis is whether this gets noticed or not. And this is really important. According to research done at the NYU, when our intention that is related to our identity or goal-related intention, when that is noticed by others, it gives us the false sense of already having achieved the goal and thereby dilutes a reason to doing so. Now, I find this really interesting, right? Because because I told everybody I was doing the University of London economics program, I got to feel smart and I got to feel the sense of accomplishment that I would have had to work hard for for the next two years. And suddenly I was like, hmm, I've already gotten this, this accolades, the admiration and the sense of achievement that I didn't need to work hard for. And so the next day when I had to get up and work from 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. and study for two hours before going to work, my motivation or my sense of necessity towards that action was remarkably lower. One, you could end up with fixed stardom where you've told people about your goal intent and everyone's noticed and they're saying, oh, that's amazing. You're going to climb the Mount Everest or you're going to do, um, you're going to become a singing sensation. That sounds amazing. So difficult. I'm very proud of you. 
fake stardom, you go home with the glow of success, even though you haven't really done anything about it. Or you could be the underdog with no stardom, which is why you've told people about you're going to climb Everest and no one cares. Either they don't believe you or they're too busy or whatnot. Congratulations, you actually have a better shot at climbing Everest than if they actually cared. So now you're the underdog with no stardom, you're probably safe. Or you could have supported accountability. You want to talk to people about your implementation intent and have them notice so they can support you and hold you accountable. What does this look like? You say, I'm going to start preparing towards a, a PhD and I need your help. Sometimes when my alarm goes off and I don't wake up, I want you to throw a book at me and ask me to get the hell out of bed. It's this feeling of, wow, that you want to avoid because you haven't done that yet. You need to save all the resources, every single iota of motivation and drive you have inside you to actually do the thing. Working towards an ambitious goal is hard work. And so you want to lead yourself in a way that conserves every iota of, of energy, resources, motivation, while getting you the support and accountability you need. And there will be people around you who will support you, but you need to know what you're asking for. Are you asking for admiration? Are you asking for encouragement? Are you asking for help? And if you're hoping that the admiration from other people will help you be motivated, mm -mm. science says it's unlikely. Identity-related behavioral intentions, and let's just call these goal intentions, that had been noticed by other people were translated into action less intensively than those that had been ignored. When other people take notice of an individual's intention, this gives the individual a premature sense of possessing the aspired to identity. And so basically what it's saying is if you tell people and they take notice and they give you the admiration, you now have very little incentive to actually do the thing. And so you're now at risk of not achieving your outcome itself. And there's research now to prove that when you tell people about your implementation intention, when you're committed to your implementation intention, that's when your chance of success is quite high. And James Clear talks about this in his book, Atomic Habits. Um, this is also part of the book, The Motivation Myth. So the TLDR of this, is if your objective is to achieve a goal, don't tell anyone who will listen about your goal because you might trick yourself into believing you've actually achieved it. And that lowers your chances of success, scientifically speaking. Build an implementation plan for your goal. Tell people who matter about the process in context of your goal. I'm not suggesting that you you know, don't tell anybody until you achieved it, because the truth is we need support from others around us to get things done and to make progress. But just be very aware of your intention when you tell people. Are you just saying it, get the, get the sense of accomplishment already? Or are you saying it because you're asking for help for your process? Thank you for watching. More next time.